long to unwrap it. Tell me. It's caramel, and it's very hot where it's from, and then it starts oh, sticking to the wrapper. Yeah. yeah, I had the same problem, and I had a lot of candy. You know what they need to do? They need to invent the, uh, that uh, paper that is actually edible, you know? So oh, yeah, you yeah. just eat the whole so thing. You just eat a whole thing, exactly. Yeah, you don't even know what's inside, just throw Mystery. it in. I'm pretty sure gum is wrapped in edible paper. Some of it, for sure. Yeah. Prediction? Uh, T1. Black. Wow. Yeah. Nope. All right. Very different. Little gun. Okay. That's what I like to see, Black. Let's sure. go. Let's go into game number two. All right. Game number two. Coming in for a good one. Will I be 0-5 after this prediction is the question? I yes is the answer. I think so. Let's go into the game. Definitely a possibility. Might as well just solo cast. Bye. <laughs> All right. I, you got it. You can solo cast. Take your ball. It's the void. Take. It's the void. The ball. You need to learn about the void. I do not care about the void. 30 seconds to battle. I eat void for breakfast. I'll help my weak and puny okay, so realistically, <laughs> Lilgun, when they experiment, when they do crazy stuff, I like what they do quite a bit. Oh, yes. I've n just not been seeing a whole lot of them when they play like this conventional, normal Dota kind of stuff. So hopefully they'll be able to surprise me here. But T1 should be having the edge. <laughs> Their draft is also pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. Pick and raving into a life stealer. Little risky. No. He really stretched his arm there. So another mid Sand King. It's good. It, it is good. We saw it yeah. lane really well. But against melee heroes, Sand King is super happy. Right. Like we said, you always push in the lane, you get the free rune, you always have full health mana pretty much. Your caustic finale pressures a lot. You have a stun, you get a fast blink, all your spells are AoE. Absolutely love the hero. How do you feel about the dark seer in this game. <sighs> I mean, it, it plays very well against the undying. Not so well against the rave king. He's just gonna get a couple of points on life leech and life leech out of it. But yeah, I can't really see a much better hero. We have seen the combo a lot, sanking dark seer. So for that, it makes a lot of sense. Right. Even sanking lion, they have a couple of impales to make good use of it. So I, I think I like it quite a bit. Maybe not for the lane necessarily, but for the game, it makes a lot of sense. Sanctity already sitting at half health. And he's playing on his tiny once again. Yeah, these caustics really hurt. How much max is that? 550, that's 55, that's 125 damage per creep explosion. It's a lot of damage. Early on, yeah. Feels like a lot of damage, that's for sure. It also scales. Like it's always a max a percentage of your max HP. Toss into the tower. Avalanche. Under the tower, taking three shots. Ooh. And that's gonna be first blood for Sanctum. Well, look at that. Yours than mine. And Carl, who has been one of the most reliable and strongest mid laners in the first season, he has been struggling in the second season. Yeah. No, not what we've been expecting from him. And if we, we've had a couple guys from season one to season two that have really not felt up to par. Mm hmm. Yeah. Makes you wonder why. Right. Because ever since the major, he felt a little, you know, I don't know if it's like insecurity or what. Maybe not as confident as before. Like, why am I losing some of these matchups, you know? I can't get a new head. been seeing as much of this Mars either. Wow, Caldo taking both water runes. Got the first one top, got the second one bottom. No bottle refill. What a tiny. And no teammate that's dying anytime soon either. He is getting the denies though. Bro strike that's in. and like That's what we call the rage that's about stun. It. But now he's going to get tossed under the tower once again. Oh, he wants to steal the bounty rune now as well. He's just, he's just taking every rune away from his tiny. Yeah. Making sure this tiny really doesn't have anything to play with. Yeah, then he pinks out his own bounty rune. And Tiny's like, nah, I've had enough of this. I'm, I'm pulling the whole creep wave. <laughs> I'll take a bounty rune of his I'll own. Take your tribute. All right, so we'll get a little refill on that bottom. Roll in onto the Undying. Level two Iron Shell, a lot of damage. Yeah, doing quite a bit, but not enough to really commit to diving the tower that hard. Yeah, for sure. And bot lane. Spear again, and he's in trouble. 23. 
on the run, avoiding the Bramble Maze from this Dark Willow. I was about to say, like, the higher the levels go, the easier it's going to get. Interesting roll from Zephyr. Yeah. He was like, maybe you think you predict that it will work this way, so you walk this way, I will roll this way. Nope. Strikes coming out, but Carl really not doing anything with it. White Mon, he's low. He's got a hex if need be, but doesn't throw it out. Still survives Marvel coming over. Yep. Low, but still fine. Carl and Zephyr taking the water runes. So, zero water runes for this tiny, actually. Haven't seen it in a long time. Yeah, all he got was uh, one bounty so far. And even then, he had to drag with the whole three wave there. Water Smash and the roll into Ace. Einstein's burning away at him. Hey, he's getting run down here pretty hard. And you can see Tuku thinking about going in even further himself. That's the thing what I spoke about. Though. Like, sure, you can pressure the Undying, but his Rave King is completely free farming. He's just sustaining himself with the Life Leech. No problem at all. Has that Soaring now. Hex out onto the Dark Will, into the Shadow Realm. But there's an Iron Earth Spike there, and Shadow Realm Strike! Oh, still gets the kill on White Mon. Okay, Couldn't get around those trees down. in time. The only problem now is that Dark Will does not have a TP to get back to lane. Yeah, so it's going to be a long walk. Yeah. Walk of shame, as we like to call it. Can't TP mid either. The Undying also doesn't have enough money to buy a TP scroll. Of course, 100 gold is a lot of gold now. So he has to take the long walk as well. Yeah, it's quite a bit. Has been killed. And also you started with like three, right? And now you only have one. <laughs> it's such a big change. Because you just used to use them pretty carelessly. I used to get three of these. Yeah. Pretty uneventful this game. Yeah, only two just one. Like, it's just very quiet at the moment. Yeah. Mars trying to farm away. Like the carries are very survivable ones. Like they both have good life steal sources. Has to be careful here in the Mars, though. Roll in that lands. Looking like Marvel's going to die here. He actually kicked him away. Uh, 23 will get the kill as he was getting kicked. I feel like if he gets kicked and doesn't definitely hit, he might potentially be able to get out. Yeah, just because he'd have the distance. Mm -hmm. He did also have the lion there, I believe. Double I rotation know. middle. If that would have been enough. Do they, they get spotted? Tiny... Can they go through mid? They, have ep they don't have epicenter, so the damage is quite limited. They're going 2-3-1. Yeah, not enough damage to kill this tiny here for sure. They could wrap around on this Mars again. Yeah, Sanky but they're also already running backing off the lane. It's four heroes though. They could potentially tower dive. No, just take away the stack. Vacuum used on 1-2-3. The Iron Shell just CSing a lot here for the Dark Seer. 54 and 2. Yeah. If you can't pressure the carry, you just Haste. prioritize your own game and farm a lot. A lot of those CS, of course, are the neutral stone. Mm, Hex Will. and the kick. Carl coming over. Has Burrow's strike. Will land it. Spear pushes Carl back, though. So many stuns. And in the Sandstorm, a lot of damage on the Hishki. They'll get the kill on the Dark Willow. These heroes come over and rotate for a little gun, but they can't do anything with it. No, you get hexed, you get Lion Impaled, you get Sanking Impaled, you get Rolling Bouldered. You can't run. No, he did not run. White on. Oh, can he get it? Yes, he can. They both take out sentries. No. Carl sitting pretty low. Oh, yeah, oh, dangerously low at the moment. Oh, he's just going to go back to base, heal up, TP to a lane to potentially gank. Still no epicenter though. That's very interesting because the new epicenter is actually really damn good under that sandstorm. What is life there going for? Maelstrom straight away and then omelet. So he wants the farming item first before going for the fighting item. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. I like it. Trying to control the runes once again, but Sanctity, he gets lucky with this one. We really see the Mars struggling a lot. Like, Life Steel has 1600 net worth ahead of him. Top tower is under and Marvel's 2500 net worth. Total. It's very rough. Compared to the Darkseer, that feels. It's a brutal lane. Really rough. Yeah. Tough lane for Mars. 
Arcane Boots finished off for the Dark Series. Got that Soul Ring, full bottle to work with. Zephyr coming around. Infinite mana. And we'll roll. They've got the Vacuum back into the wall. Boulder Smash on one, two, three. He's level seven. He has no re-ink. And he's getting run down here. Surge moving forward, right clicks in under the tower, the illusion. They're still trying to get one, two, three, but they can't. He doesn't have reincarnation. I think they thought the way he was playing that he has it. But well, well then, wouldn't, you, wouldn't you want to pop it? Yeah, I don't know. That would have been a free kill pretty much. Good kind of comes in and now, well, Zephyr's dead. Cuckoo might fall too. Rave King. He's going to wrap around and have the stun available. Oh. He's not TPing out of this. I mean, he, this Rave King just absolutely outplayed them. Yeah, they really just got outplayed there heavily. It's all mentally, too, because he did not have ring. And they thought he did, because he was playing so aggressively. Arena. Ooh. Spear missing. They've got the Hex onto the Mars. They roll through the Arena, and Marvel, God's Rebuke, pushing Zephyr back, who's only level four. And they'll get a good amount of gold off this tombstone, too. Yeah, it was a very important spear miss. 41. And a pretty bad one for the mask, because that was kind of his ticket back into the game with that kill. Right. Would have been sitting at a pretty respectable net worth. But now no arena to team fight. Mine is truly a blessed life. Undying, a little bit of trouble here. Yeah, they're going to chase. They've got the mana drain. Marble coming over, trying to land a spear. He misses again. Mask is this kind of hero when you miss a lot of spears, it really gets into your head. Start to overthink your spear throws. Yeah, so I hope Marvel won't have that issue. Maelstrom finished for the Life Steward, getting the Mithril Hammer delivered. Yeah, so he, his farming steroid is online. And then, you, like you said, he's going into the fighting item after with the armlet. Mm -hmm. I like that quite a bit. If you have such a free lane, might as well just go a little bit more greedy. And Rave King is going straight into the Radiance. Still quite far away from it, though. Fairy's Trinket. Good for your Steiny. He actually still doesn't have reincarnation. Yeah. And he's sitting super low here. Will hit up eventually, of course. So, tiny. He went brown boots blink. So this is when you really need to make it pay. Why about nearby, though? Oh, good spear dodge. Would have been a kill on life stealer. Marble coming over, Arena down, they've infested. Burrow Strike comes through, they'll pop the infest. Sanctity tossing right on top of Marvel. They have the Terrorize, they're all forward. Now the Tombstone down, Magnetize on a three of these heroes as well as the Geomagnetic Crypt. They've got the wall down on the Marvel as well as Sanctity. They're looking to get the kill onto the Mars, they'll pull him back in with the Vacuum. And they will take out the Mars, they'll lose Zephyr, so they're without the Earth Spirit. Wraith King comes in, one, two, three, trying to clean up what he can, but he's taking a lot of damage, and he finally has the reincarnation at level nine. So, he'll reincarnate, Avalanche comes in, it's not a good one from Sanctity. 23 on the run, gets brambled up, locked up for a second. They still want to go into Sanctity, and he'll toss Carl with the Wraith Fire Blaster, doing a lot of damage, but is it going to be enough? Burrow Strike, Curse Crown onto Carl, staying near Hishki. Hishki throws out the Bedlam, looking for that damage to get the kill on one of these heroes, but it's not enough. They're mitigating most of it, and they will get the kill on Hishki without losing this Sand King. Yeah, Tiny kind of baited his own team there. He tossed in the oh, Sand King. going for the next one, too. He dies to the Ion Shell. That was a, a rough toss back on the Sand King. Like, you could have just disengaged. No problem. But then they turn around, try to kill him. Rave King, nice sidestep. Easy run away. It happens sometimes when you overestimate your own damage, capabilities. But it's a rough one. The fight looked really good for Dyer until they lost three heroes at the very end there. Sanctity, Hexed. Yeah. Earth Spike to follow it up. Nobody attack. else is nearby, though. And this brown boots blink so far really didn't pay off. I don't know. Yeah. And also Tiny's combo attack. damage, of course, got nerfed in 29 or 28 attack. even. So you might just become a support bot. We have seen it many, many times with this Tiny. Where they just miss their timing Radiant and they don't feel like they do anything. Yeah. Rolling on the Hishki, that lands. Kick back into the Shadow Realm. Belt them onto a solo target for a moment. Burrow Strike nice. comes through, lands on a two. They should be able to finish off Volk. Looking for the Terrorize, though. That hits on a three. They've got the Arena down. They're keeping Hishki nearby. The Magnetize is going to be enough to get the kill, but they end up losing White Mon after the Arena, as well as the Spear. Zephyr dies, too. This is going really bad for T1. They'll lose Cuckoo. Three heroes dead. They're going to chase for Carl who can blink away, but I mean, you, you got a Burrow Strike on it too. You can't finish either. 
You allow the Dark Will to get a Terrorize off. That's just poorly played right now from T1 and well done by Lil Gun. Yeah. You have a pretty significant lack of damage. There should be a fight here at the tower. Easy. Oh, wow. wow. Well done. Really well done. Carl killed off. Quite he has no quickly. reincarnation. Yeah, he does not have reincarnation. They're going to chase. Oh, they pull off, though. They could have gotten the Wraith King, and they let him leave. Instead, they go after Ace. Spear comes through. They've got the finger. They're looking for Marvel to land the roll. They'll get the kill onto the Mars. Uh -huh. Almost certain they could have killed the Wraith King in that moment. Yeah, probably Lifestyle could have easily stuck on top of him because his movement speed is way higher. But yeah, they choose to just try to play around the teammates, protect the back line. Radiance it's not a bad decision. It's just a different Kinda mindset down there. That radiance, though. Yeah, I mean, he has a relic now. So he's getting there. Just like, Lil Gun really needs to start just, you know, like, relax. You got a good team fight. You got three kills. No need to stay around and wait for the respawn timers to then come and just get killed by them, you know? So uh, overplaying the hand a little bit. Rave King is not strong yet. Roll in. Tiny Short again. of Sanctity. Avalanche hits Carl as well as Zephyr. They've got the silence with the Geomagnetic Grip and they'll get the kill. Yeah. Five year rotation for the mid tower as well. And they're not done yet. Ooh. But they can play Infernal Strike on him with the Infest, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Roll a little bit short once again, but it doesn't matter. They'll use the Epicenter and get the kill on the Marvel. The pickoffs are looking clean at times for T1, but I mean, nice. we've seen it before where others have not. Roll in, Brutal Strike hits, and they've got a third. Kind of looks like game one where they just randomly started dying one by one. Oh, well, Zephyr losing that chipped vest. Yeah, always rough. 5 HP regions quite a bit. And this is really the mark of like an unexperienced team where when things suddenly don't go to plan, life did it all. And 23. Stop talking. It just gets blown up by Sanctity. Curse Crown lands on two. Do they want to go for more? They have the potential combo, but no blink they got Mars. They're going into him though. Yeah, they want to go. Burrow Strike, Magnetize out onto two of these heroes. Again, looking to get the Terrorize off, but may not be able to do so. Marvel's starting to run away. Hishki ends up dead, so there won't be a Terrorize. There won't be a Bedouin. They've got the Tombstone down. Carl trying to clean that up. Ace. Use that ult, but I can't do anything with it. And they'll still get the 125 gold from the tombstone. <laughs> this game is so chaotic. 26 kills in 60 minutes. First game was slow. This game is super fast-paced. And it's kind of just brawling it out. The big winner, though, from this, the Wraith King, finally finishes Radiance. Next fight, he will be very strong. Yeah, they need to find a way to work against him. White Mon with the Hex. Nice. Two-man stun. From where he is on the high ground, this feels really tough for White Man to pull off, but he still does. Wraith King comes in, they're going to go with the Avalanche. They've got this on a three, they've also got the Terrorize on a three. Uh-oh. They're going to chase for this. Cursed Crown, can they split up in time? Zephyr gets away from the group. Bedouin, Burrow Strike, committing to this. Carl trying to save Zephyr, and I think he's done it. He's burning. Oh, oh he burns. Ah, burns out. Yeah. The last burn tick. Barely enough damage to kill him. He's under attack. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, like, what do you say about this game? Both teams are just so aggressive, even over aggressive. They're always overstaying their welcome. Just go. Just fine. Yeah, full Davai mode. They are definitely getting baited into a oh, nice tune. <laughs> <laughs> nice tune from the Saint King. You know, we, we can make a song to that. Yeah, you can, definitely. We've had some beatbox ideas. You could work with that. Get that cut. 4K lead, though, is still for T1, and it feels even. It feels somewhat even, yes. But his life is getting pretty damn strong. I should wonder who just wins late game. Probably T1. They have so much combo potential when the BKBs so start yeah. getting lower. Yeah, when the BKBs... When the BKBs first come, get, yeah. it's going to be all little gun, I think, because most of the damage is magic. And their combos are pretty decent, too. Mars Arena with the Terrorize? Yeah, I mean, if they... I guess it really just depends on who gets the Their better initiation. Yeah. Yeah. If you start first, you're probably going to win. You let them start first. You're in trouble town. They're coming through the river. They've got the scan, and they smoke. But that's broken immediately, and they're going to chase. They've got the Burrow Strike as well as the Infest Pop. Now the wall down, Terrorize thrown. 
Doesn't hit on the 23, who gets the Rage off in time to land the Spear out onto this Earth Spirit. Avalanche as well as the Toss, they get the damage out onto Zephyr, they get themselves at least one, but the Burrow Strike as well as the Epicenter for the Finger coming through on a Marvel. Down goes one, two, three. White Monster with a stun onto this Dark Willow. The wall, these illusions doing so much, going after Ace, also trying to focus their attention onto the Dark Willow, who's sitting quite low. Hishki, not looking likely that he gets out of this one. The blink to keep up with the Dark Willow, the right click saying one more shot needed. Hishki ends up dead. Avalanche toss, not enough to kill Cuckoo. They got four, they might get five. I don't know if he's got the damage himself, but if 23 can catch up with the Surge, he certainly can help out. Sanctity, toss, rage, use, 23. Catches up to Sanctity, the Burrow Strike is there. The back neutral doesn't steal it Carl gets the kill full team wipe here for the side of T1 and an ultra kill for Carl yeah the team for Pro is really coming through here great epicenter on top of the vacuum we have seen that combo so many times it's so devastating team fight potential coming out from his radiant team is massive and every time somebody dies oh yeah, also we didn't see a tombstone of course because you know they initiated on undying first very good pickoff prime target there he ended up buying back into the fight, but it was way too late. And all they get in return is two supports. It's really not worth it for a little gun here. They even clean up the tombstone. They get that extra bit of gold. Rave gets the call again. King again. He doesn't have reincarnation. They're going to drain his mana. They've got the Spear Vest on him. There's the roll. Ray Fire Blast. Tombstone down. Backing back. One, two, three. Count it down. He's, and he's dead again. again as well. The Ace. cool frenzy too strong. Oh, he's kind of taunting him. Okay. That's... Okay. Make. Gave it to Carl. Does he have that? <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> he danced around him. That was. Yeah. I mean, that he, was he, super he, rude. He was <laughs> playing around with him, break dancing a little bit. Watch these moves before I I kill you. Sanking now, trying to set up on the Dark Willow. He has epicenter. I really hope we're gonna see a whole lot more of this hero. Like every time you get a kill now, you deal so much AOE damage as well because of the caustic which scales on the enemy's max health. Do you think we'll see him more so in the mid lane, or are we going to see him back off lane as well? He's strong mid and off lane, but I like him mid lane a lot more. When you have a good matchup against the melee hero, just always seems to own every game. Echo Saber picked up. Oh, no, they found the Wraith King again. He has reincarnation this time, so... Correct me if I'm wrong, no, but Jason. he's one of the only heroes that has four AoE abilities. For AoE damage abilities. Is under I'd have to think. It, it's yeah, going to take me a while to go through all the heroes. Now. I, I want to just really sit here and one. You know what I like to say? It's a lot of damage. It is a lot of damage. Yeah. That's a lot of damage. Five man smoke coming in from Lil Gun. Yeah, infested into the Earth Spirit. He has a Spirit Vessel completed. Rave King in the front line. Yeah, hit with Burrow Strike. Oh, going for the roll. And that actually gets the Life Stealer out. So the Arena comes down as well as the Spear that's out onto the Dark Seer. They've got the Ray Fire Blast to hit on him, but they haven't killed him yet. Oh, Huge wall in the three. They'll get that kill on the Cuckoo. They'll end up losing Ace. And they finish off Marvel, magnetized down on a Sanctity as well as 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 is going to lose that first life. They're slowed up, trying to catch up to this Tiny. And now they've got the Earth Spike, Burrow Strike, Epicenter coming through onto the Wraith King. They'll get the kill there. That's going to be a third dead for the side of a Little Gun. Now looking over at Sanctity, they will take him too. And four are gone once again on Lil Gun as they do end up losing that Darts here, but it's well worth it in the end. Yeah. They are very brave to even wanting to smoke into this T1 lineup here. Every time there's a team fight without BKBs, they will get off their combo and you are going to lose. Like You need to wait for your BKBs before you fight at all. Just look at this initial. It didn't even look that good initially for them. They got a good combo off on the Dire. Well played by Zephyr to get the life Lifesteer out of dodge there. Big problem. And then triple Vacuum Wall. Fight is over right there. Yeah. They get their own Radiance. Just easy for them. Too easy. They just have so much control in this game. Yeah, so much stun, so much slow. Vacuum, burrow strike, earth spike, roll, uh, you know. They lack uh, nothing. The only thing yeah. they lack is damage through BKB. But if Lil Gun has no BKBs, it doesn't matter. Just by BKB. Tiny, not itemizing into one. Mars, not either. Rave King, finally will. But he's very far away from it. They smoked. They, it's like they want to fight again. I mean, they're down by... 11k, 12k oh, yeah. now. A lot. I don't know where they keep running into them. Like, they need to split push rather than run into the iron wall. Because the lead is just going to get bigger and bigger if you keep doing that. 
23. Brave King Sami, enemy triangle. Doesn't feel safe in his own. Yeah. He, he's, he, uh, 23 is super farmed. Wraith King, super under farmed. Yeah. And 23 is going into one of my favorite items of the patch, Satanic. Gross right the Earth Spirit. Pops that ult. But here's White Mountain. Earth Spike, Epicenter getting charged up. Carl thinking about going in. He might actually find a couple of heroes here if he can make his way in. Epicenter now right on top of Ace. They get the kill on a White Mountain, but it's another vacuum wall on a three heroes. And. This fight just gets so dangerous for Lil Gun. They get the kill on a Sanctity, they look over at Ace, they've got the roll out on a 1-2-3. Soren trying to keep him healthy enough, but he's running away from 23. They hit the Burrow Strike on the Ace, they'll get the kill on a 4, and make it a 5th. They just got a kill on the second time. It's going to be another full team wipe here for T1. There is nothing this Wraith King can do to get away from this. And, man, a 4 in the last fight, 5 in this fight. They're just bleeding heroes. Bleeding at worth disadvantage. Yeah, I don't think you can really... Rectified it anymore at this point, 14k, with an inferior draft. Yeah, they're probably just gonna take Roche and try to finish it out. It's just, however, whoever initiates, that's all you need to do. They just need to initiate the fight, then the team fight will follow. Like Darkseer, into Sand King, or Darkseer, into Lion, Darkseer, into Earth Spirit, anything. They have so many combos they can work off of, it doesn't matter at all who gets the first initiation. Crazy good lineup. For sure. And it makes so much sense, you know? Like so much synergy. Yeah, when you when you can stun lock these guys like this, it's pretty disgusting. And then just have the damage right on top of it. Uh, Cuckoo, he's had some fantastic vacuum walls. Yeah. Which is also not like the hardest uh, thing to do in this game because they're all running at you. Raven yeah. wants to run at you, Mars wants to run at you, Tiny. Well, they want to be in a tight like, area, the, the arena. And that sets exactly. them up. Yep. It's a super good Darkseer pick. I think they picked it last, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We can see here why. Sanking on the hunt. Oh, Rave King again. Infest, did they? They spotted him. Mr. Stun, right. though. Didn't land. He's still on the run. Right click hits. He's and trying to Zafiga. get out of here. Oh, God. Look at the damage coming in. Oh, not even. He's clapping the Epi. He didn't even have reincarnation ready. There have, have been a couple of uh, BM moments here. Break dancing around. Now pumping the Epi in front of a dead guy. Oh. Want to mark the territory? Slap down the tail. I was like, get out of this game, please. Sanctity taken out up top. Zephyr getting the kill there. They just can't do anything anywhere. Can't leave the base. If you do, you die. And when you're dead, you're dead. Yep. Which means more net worth for the not dead people. 17k lead, 17 kills ahead. Feels like a very, very difficult game to come back in, if it's even possible. They need BKBs, and I mean, to have BKBs, you first need to itemize into them. He just got so... No, not sort of killed. Okay. Sanky was there. He was trying to cut the wave as an undying. Like, that's how desperate they are. And being desperate is not a good thing in Dota. Especially when you're behind. Especially when you're behind. Because it means you get further behind. Psychic headband. Elvin Tunic. Le move of desperation. This is just 23 taking the bottom tier 3 in the set of racks himself. And everyone's just looking at him like, hey, how are you doing? Can you stop doing that, please? Appreciate it. I don't like that. Okay, I'll leave. Oh, no. Passing the Elven Tunic. Yeah. Now hitting even faster. Even more evasion with a level 20 talent as well. What do you do about Mr. Lifesteal now? Not much you can do. Mr. B Cup, if you're Little Gun here, what do you do? You type the you letters? No, you give it one more. One more? Oh, that's good, that's good. Does this start? Oh, or not. Under the tier four, they're gonna try and fight and? this. They've got the geomagnetic grip. <laughs> Shadow Realm Strike's not gonna be enough damage to get the kill on the eights. They look over as they've got the magnetized. The arena's down, and they've caught Zephyr. Curse Crown, Avalanche coming through. They get the kill on the Zephyr. That'll at least be one for the epicenter. Rocking down right on top of the bars. Marvel ends up dead. They've got themselves the wall. That's through onto the Wraith King. They'll get the first life out of his hands. They'll take out the Tombstone before they'll have to deal with him again. Ooh, Soul Rip, keep it alive. But can they keep the, the, the Wraith King alive? Brutal Strike on the three, making it perfect. Carl 
Trying to finish off this game, they'll call GG and they'll secure the 2-0. T1 with the 2-0. Yeah, looked a bit shaky in game one, game two, looked pretty convincing. Yeah. And uh, for Lil Gun, I think what they need to do in the future series is just try to make the game chaotic, you know? They pick their brute mother, they're all over the place. Mm -hmm. This is where you're best at and this is what you should try to do every game. This game they kind of picked, you know, very normal heroes. Doesn't suit them very well. The way they got here.